Hi guys, welcome back. Just going to jump on and do a quick video. Um, giving you a, a bit of advice on Mandarin care. Or how I do things to look after my Mandarin. As you can see, he's out scouting around, looking for pods. And this is what they do 99% of the time that they're in your tank. So, there are a few different ways that people successfully keep these. I think the most successful way is to find one that's already feeding on frozen food. Um, that is obviously more beneficial. Saves you a lot of hassle. Um, but it's not always doable. And a lot of the time, you know, people order offline. It's not always guaranteed shops or sellers, vendors will tell you that, yeah, it's feeding fine. When in actual fact, it's not. Um, so, yes, some of the things that I've been doing is throwing pods in every week. Um, so, this is a 250 litre system. Obviously, with the displacement of the rocks and things like that, maybe a bit less, probably around 220. So every week I will put in four to five bags of pods, um, get these from the local shops. See, there is other fish in here that will eat the pods. Obviously all fish will eat the pods, um, but the wrasse, the wrasse spends a lot of his time going around, picking at the rocks, picking at the glass as well. So. You know, it's just making sure that there's enough food in there for the mandarin to get. And that is the main issues with keeping a mandarin alive in your tank, basically. Um, water parameters, same as everything else. Generally, I think if, if you manage to get one feeding, they are quite a hardy fish. Um, I've never had any issues like that. And once you get them feeding, usually they tend to stay alive. Um, I've not really had any that I've managed to get feeding and then die for unknown reasons. But they are a great fish. It's the main reason that I got into this hobby when I was younger. Um, I'd saw a picture of it online and just knew that that was a dream fish of mine that I had to keep. And I'll hold my hands up, you know, I'm not a perfect reefer, I've made my mistakes along the way. Which sadly has ended up in, in losing one or two of them. Um, but I feel like as I've got older, obviously we've, we've gained more experience on reefing. I think a lot of things have changed as well in the reefing hobby in the last, you know, 15 years. 15 years or so um, which has made things easier for us to keep certain fish yeah he's, he's a great little fish it does get pushed around and bullied a little bit by the other fish in the tank um, but he doesn't really put him off he'll scoot back down for a bit and then I'll we'll see him weaving in and out of all these rocks Slowly getting my light setting back up. Um, this is how you're seeing it now is usually how I like it. Really quite light, quite white for the majority of the day. And then later on in the evening, the heavy blues will come on. So some other ways you can benefit these fish is by having something like a pod hotel, go for pod hotel. Just a really fine, fine knit unit with lots of little holes in so fish can't get into it, but pods can. Um, and the pods tend to use that as a base. 
Scarlet. Um, there's also, you know, I add, I do add live brine shrimp as well. If you want me to do a video on how I culture and make my brine shrimp, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll show you my setup that I do for that. I am going to slowly start doing a, a tank solely just for pods. Um, it's just going to make things easier in the long run. At the moment, it's not too bad. I'm able to, you know, to nip to the shop and get some pods whenever I need them. Um, but yeah, I think having some at home, I've done it before. I've raised them before in their own tank which has always worked out. Um, it has crashed once or twice, but you know, these things happen. But yeah, that's a bit of a uh, species spotlight on how I keep my mandarin alive. The, like I said, the main focus literally just is food, keeping them alive. If there's any other fish that you see in my tank that you're interested about or want to know a bit more information about, let me know. And we can do a bit of a uh, spotlight and walk through on, on certain types of fish. I'll leave you with one last look at the tank. And there it is. That's how it's looking. All good, all good, all good. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already. It's absolutely free, doesn't cost you anything. Thank you.